What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fandom Frequency, y'all. Impromptu content coming straight into your feed right now. Make sure you've clicked the subscribe button. Make sure you click that notification bell. You never miss a single dose of that Fandom Frequency goodness going straight into your feed. We got something real special to talk about today, guys. We're not going to go for too long, but I was in the middle of editing some future content for you guys, man. And the Kenobi trailer dropped, man. The first official Kenobi trailer for the limited series dropping May 25th is live on the internet right now for us to enjoy. So we're going to break it down right here, right now. With no further ado, let's get right into this bad boy, man. And it opens up with a shot of none other than Kenobi himself riding some weird alien creature looking something like a camel and you know you're getting those old school ot original trilogy vibes straight up right there but you got the duel of the fates as the main centerpiece the main music right here and i love that choice that is one of the best pieces of music john williams ever wrote not just for star wars but in, in his entire career at least to me man because i'm a kid that grew up with the prequels you know what i'm saying so I love that shit, so you got to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid when all that came out, and the Duel of the Fates is definitely one of the best themes they could have picked for this, and it was the best choice, so I'm so glad they made that right here in this trailer. But Kenobi's down and out, man, just living in that seclusion, seemingly, possibly closing himself off from the Force, you know what I'm saying, and just down on his luck and just, you know, straight up saying in that voiceover, you know, we lost. And there's nothing else we can do except watch the kid and stick to the plan, you know what I'm saying? And then get that shot of young Luke, you know what I'm saying? A 10-year-old Luke right there is pretty cool to see him over there pretending he's he's flying a speeder or whatever. And it's just really awesome to kind of see that stuff coming through right here in this Kenobi trailer. Everything we kind of anticipated somewhat about this trailer and about this series Definitely was shown to us in these early shots, but then we start getting this other voiceover of none other than the Grand Fucking Inquisitor is up in here, and we got other Inquisitors going after none other than our boy Kenobi, and I am so excited to see the Inquisitors in live action form, man. You got what looks like the Fifth Brothers up in here as well, and when you get that dope-ass shot of that spinning lightsaber that the Grand Inquisitor has, I have just wanted to see that for so long, man, since 2014, 2015, when I was watching Rebels. Like, man, I'm so happy to see that, man. And it's going to be so exciting to see Kenobi go up against those guys and to see who else they go up against during the course of this series, you know what I'm saying? Because anything's possible in this Star Wars world that we're in, man. And just some of these shots are just absolutely gorgeous, man. Especially the ones when Kenobi seems to be going off-world or the show is taking place off-world in some way or another, which I also anticipated going into this series because we know they're not going to stay on Tatooine again, back-to-back -back with Book of Boba especially. And I just knew from the jump when they announced the series and even the movie several years ago that they weren't going to set it solely on Tatooine. But you got to have a good majority or a good chunk of it take place there because that's where Kenobi is supposed to be in the course of the timeline. You know what I'm saying? But all of these shots, man, and all this stuff in the trailer and everything that we're seeing is just so awesome while not giving too much away about what the exact plot is and how everything's going down other than the fact that Inquisitors are hunting down Jedi, Kenobi's closing himself from the Force or something like that, is just watching over Luke, trying to keep a low profile, but something pulls him back into it. You know what I'm saying? And even like the Inquisitor was saying in that voiceover, it's like the Jedi, you know, that, that Order of the Jedi, they get that itch and they just got to help out or do some kind of Samaritan type stuff. So you know that's going to come through somehow in this series. But I love how they don't give too much away. They're keeping some stuff real close to the vest, especially when it comes to the man you hear breathe at the end, Darth fucking Vader, man. 
They don't show any shot of Darth Vader whatsoever. And I am so happy they chose to do that because, A, we know he's in the series. We know we're going to get that rematch. B, it's just showing way too much, way too early. When we're not too far away, we're just a little over two months away. So I'd rather they keep all the Darth Vader footage for that initial episode or moment he premieres in the series. And then you can use that stuff to promote the show. Because at that point, if you're not keeping up, if you're too busy or whatever, hey man, sorry. It's week to week. You got to try to stay up on top of it. But until the show is at least on the air, we have, we're a few episodes in or whatever, and Kenobi's on Disney+, Plus. everyone and potentially anyone can get access to it pretty much. Then that's a different story. But I don't want to see any Darth Vader in the promotion leading up to this thing because, like, like I said, we don't need all those spoilers, man. I don't mind some stuff to get you hyped, but you got to keep some surprises for the actual viewing experience. So that's my thoughts going into it right there, man. And with that new character that's also an Inquisitor named Reva, I can't, I actually don't know the actress's name, my bad, but she looks pretty badass in this thing as well. And she's front and center in this series, seemingly, as one of the main antagonists. And who knows, she might switch sides. Anything's possible, you know, could get a little Jedi. Uh, Fallen Order type flavor right there. So anything's possible, but you know the big bad going into this is going to be Vader himself. After they hear about Kenobi being back on the radar, he's going to want that rematch. We're going to get that rubber match, baby. It's 1-0 and o right now, and we know he's going to win the next one in A New Hope. So who's going to win this rematch? I can't fucking wait to see it, man. It's going to be so awesome. And Deborah Chow being the showrunner and director of this thing, doing every single episode, and I believe it's going to be six episodes, if I'm not mistaken. I am excited for that because she has directed some of the best Star Wars content, period, since 1983. And I'm, of course, referencing her Mandalorian season one and possibly season two episodes as well. But I think she just did season one. But I am so excited to see what her and the team have cooked together here and are going to present us with this Kenobi series, man. But what did y'all think out there? Let me know in the comments section below. I really want to get into a dope discussion with y'all and see what you're feeling out there in the fellow Star Wars fandom community. I want to hear what you got to say. What did you like? What did you dislike? What do you hope to see? You know we're going to get some Qui-Gon Jinn flavor, man. Force Ghost. We got to see that for sure. And another thing, too. We saw Uncle Owen up in this. Joel Edgerton's back. We got so many great things to come with this series, man. I can't wait for May 25th. The 45th anniversary of A New Hope. We're going to get that new Kenobi flavor, man. Duel of the Fates. That's what it's all about right there, man. And make sure, before you dip out on this video, click the like, click the subscribe, click the share, click the notification bell. Just keep on clicking. And we hope to see you again around these parts here on the Phantom Frequency Network again real soon. But until then, peace out, guys. Stay tuned. Don't sleep. And may the force be with you, always.